All right, guys, mountain tournament expert hole number five. Getting the bag set up. We're going to go with rock eight, and we are going to use it's going to be between cat. Let's all let's select cat and um, big dog. Cat four or big dog. So let's look at some of the numbers. Um, big dog wins, um, got more top spin, more accuracy. So big dog is the winner between the cat four and the big dog eight, and possibly kingmaker um, titan. So one of the two balls. Not quite sure what I'm going to go with yet. See what the wind is when I get there, and uh, get our rock on here and a power three ball set up. Hopefully, let's make sure we're recording there. We are. Okay. See what we can do here. So we have down, wind, wind is down and off the right. So we definitely have enough, um, uh, enough club with the uh, Rock 8 and a uh, Titan. So we definitely have enough club. We could, we could go with the uh, Kingmaker guys and uh, eliminate some of that wind since it's not really helping us that much. So something to think about whether you want to do it or not. That's up to you. <clears throat> so opponent hits a perfect shot down the fairway. I like it. So we're going to stick with the Titan ball at 8-2. That's not a whole lot of win. We are going to roll this one out. So I am going to leave it about like this. You can see I have um, roughly 8 to 10 yards of fairway there. And then I'm going to adjust for the wind right at 8. Let's see what this um, balance looks like. Uh, see how far my extra pushes go. So it pushed me about five to seven yards beyond my uh, ball guide. So really something to pay attention to, guys. You can see where my um, aim point was right at that. Uh, bunker's rough edge when I stopped my adjustment so technically you don't want to uh, be too much uh, further with your setup so let's go ahead and get our big dog on here big dog gate clear our window <clears throat> well this is going to be a challenging wind to hold the fairway I think we'll see how uh, how, how challenging this wind is for us <clears throat> so we got nine wind we're gonna go full top I'm not too too overly worried about this. I think I can feed it up there, no problem. So I got two, I got full top and one or two right spin. And then I'm going to adjust for the wind, nine, zero, five. But I'm not going to go backwards with my power. And I'm going to slight over power. So that was all kind of controlled power just to feed me right there is pretty much all I needed. So that will leave us with the opportunity to chip it in. So obviously if you guys go with the Kingmaker, it's going to bring that wind down just a little more. Possibly make um, this third shot a little more manageable. 
possibly can make it. Well, you can make it with any club or any ball and any wind, but might make it just a just a hair easier. So something to think about when you go to set up your shot and adjust for the wind. You will be moving into power. So make sure when you set up you have enough room to allow for the additional power you're going to add when adjusting towards the wind. <clears throat> With these wedge shots I like to set up at minimum distance if possible. Or max I just like the two so we're gonna be not at either we're gonna be right at about four rings I think I'm gonna bounce it right off of this edge here and I'm gonna use no spin whatsoever I'm gonna adjust four rings because that's kind of where it's allowing me for the type of shot I want to do attempt. Perfect ball. A little hot, but got her in there. So good luck guys on that shot. I know you can make it. Just take your time and put it in the hole. Good luck.